Hello everybody, how you doing? Uh, welcome to the JB and I show. I am your host, Isaac the Firehawk Milton. Hey, what's up? <laughs> for those of y'all who follow me from Twitch, I'm 8010AZ. And for those of y'all who are here for the music, I am Isaac M. I know that's a lot of personal branding, but my name is Isaac Middleton. I go by the Firehawk. <laughs> Team Firehawk, Team Firehawk. So, um, today we're going to be talking about uh, inner turmoil and uh, how it could adversely affect you, but more importantly, how you could potentially overcome it. There's various degrees of inner turmoil, and we will be covering said topics uh, today on the JB and I show. So, uh, Let's get this ball rolling! <laughs> and uh, welcome, welcome, welcome again to the JB and I show. Oh yes, oh yeah! <laughs> so uh, today we're going to be talking about inner turmoil. Inner turmoil uh, comes is when there is a conflict within you. Um, there, you may not see it on the outside. You might be calm, cool, and collective on the outside, but on the inside, there's a battle going on. There's a battle raging, from decision making to career planning to, you know, feats of events of risk management, taking risk, all of the above. From emotional to the intellectual, that inner turmoil battle happens. Now, for some, there's more than others. You know, some might be battling depression. You know, and if that is the case, definitely seek professional help. I am not a professional in any way, shape, or form. I'm just going to talk about my inner turmoils. Hope in hopes that it will help you. If it's just a simple degree of motivation, then this definitely may be what you're looking for. However, if it's something more serious than that, then definitely seek professional help in any regards, okay? Now for me, you know, my inner turmoil comes in when I am working on something uh, that I'm not familiar with you know, because I want to do it right and I want to uh, achieve the highest level uh, possible. And and so I begin to battle myself uh, within myself, you know, uh, in the words of negativity uh, that I say to myself. And how many of y'all know that we can say some of the most hurtful things to ourselves <laughs> that uh, other people uh, may not even know about? I may not even hear that raging battle that's going on within ourselves, you know. Um, I know that I um, have and having that inner turmoil on several different levels at any given time. And what happens a lot of time is um, I might lose that battle in the auspice of oh can I do this or can I not do this do I really have the skill to accomplish this do I really have the endurance drive motivation and know how to complete this you know uh, to even attempt this or whatever this may be you know Um, I know that I have failed myself on several different occasions because I've talked myself out of doing something when later on I find out that I could have done it, should have done it, would have done it, but the bottom line is I did not do it. And that is some of the most hurtful, regretful things that you may come across. And the best way to avoid that is to uh, solidify that inner turmoil battle with facts and with confidence confidence within yourself you know you might fail at the first attempt that don't mean you give up you know if it's a financial thing then you might have to give up because you don't have the finances to continue but that don't mean that you can't 
try again eventually if you work hard at it. You know, one of the things about the inner turmoil happens is when you're making sometimes a major decision. You know, whether I should continue this career or do that career or whether I should marry this woman or that woman, in my case, because I'm a man. Um, you know, in, in this battle, you know, for those of y'all who are uh, believers, uh, you know, Christians and such, you can, you know, go to your uh, Bible or uh, uh, go to your scrolls and such for some confidence and direction you know uh for those of y'all who are not you might can go to your shrink or advisor or counsel person you know uh for some direction and guidance and such like that you know um but in some cases you might be the only one who believe in you and and that is within itself it sometimes sparks the battle because it's like am Nobody else sees this in me but me, you know. But if you have the belief and the solidification that you know that you can do it, then do it, okay? Um, when it comes to uh, mental health, there's several things that can take place that will destroy your mental health. A bad relationship can destroy your mental health getting fired from a job can destroy your mental health uh, not getting a job can destroy your mental health um, <clears throat> having uh, finance issues can destroy your mental health I was watching on uh, YouTube the other day and it was talking about uh, uh, the pyramid and one of the building blocks of the solid foundation of this particular pyramid uh, was physical was one, but number two was mental. You have to have that mentality of stability. Not everyone is born to be a leader. Not everyone is supposed to be a leader. Not everyone is going to be a leader, okay? And some people are just happy following, you know? I know I'm happy following it sometimes, sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes. <laughs> and uh, and when you get a certain amount of failures, when you fail over and over again, and I'm speaking for myself in this regard, I have failed so many times that sometimes I'm just like, oh my God, am I even supposed to do this? Or what am I? <laughs> I can't do right, you know, when... And it was like, well, comparison is the worst thing. But you can't help but compare when you look around and it seems like everybody else is doing great and you're not. I'm like, how can I not compare that? How can I not see that? You know? And so I was like, okay, so I got to go back and look within myself and see what I'm doing wrong. You know, and how can I correct this to get to where I want to be? where I need to be you know and is this even for me am I was I delusional in coming to the conclusion of doing this or was it uh or am I on the right track what is it you know and and so sometimes we do have to reflect and and go back through our gauges again and so to to say that uh, we're not supposed to compare. Yeah, I mean, I can understand you saying that, but for as actually doing it, that's something entirely different. Because it's natural to look around and be like, okay, you know, uh, so and so is doing this, they are doing that, you know, um, you know, and I'm doing this. Okay, and that's not too shabby, you know. But if you look around and everybody's soaring and you're you're sputtering out <laughs> the flickering light, you know, you are the weakest link. Now, and it's just like, oh my God, I, how do I get it together? How do I get this going for myself? You know, in my case, I'm like, I'm an older guy. I don't got a bunch of time. <laughs> I've been sputtering for the last 30 years. Am I doing this right? <laughs> What am I doing wrong? How do I get to where I need to be? You know, and that's that's 
that's it. That's that inner turmoil, that inner battle that no one sees. You know, no one don't see the the tears in the pillow or the tears in the towel. You know, no one sees the 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 pain and the sorrow. You know, uh, there was this music I was listening to the other day, and it was like no one sees. You know, me on my knees. You know, praying, asking God. You know, hey. Am I doing this right? What am I doing wrong? How do I get it together? I don't have a lot of time, Lord. I mean, I've been doing this for a while now and I haven't gotten anywhere, you know. And you have people that will marginalize marginalize your efforts, even marginalize what you've been through, which sucks. That don't help. (laughs) And so I want to encourage you today to... uh, you know, people say set out pros and cons, the good and the bad, you know, your skill set, everything. You know, if you have people that you can trust, you know, you might can confer with and confer in them, you know, ask them their opinions. But at the end of the day, the decision is yours. OK, the decision is yours at the end of the day and you can make the best decision possible and then give it time to work. You know, uh, sometimes you might realize right away, okay, this isn't working. What am I doing wrong here? Okay, this is wrong. Okay, let me fix that and let me try again. You know, sometimes as simple as that, when you're able to see what's going on. Other times it's just like, okay, uh, it's too soon for me to give up, but I'm, I don't feel myself doing anything. You know, I always talk about my weight loss sometimes too much. But, and the reason why I go back to the weight loss is you don't see yourself losing weight, at least not right away. It takes time to manifest or to be seen, actually. Um, <clears throat> you're working hard on it. That's why I change it from manifestation. It's not manifestation. It's hard work and dedication. And, and if you're working hard, you're dedicated, you know, and you, you, you know, doing well in that then you got to just be consistent consistency is a lot of times what a lot of people lack consistency and endurance you know and that's not even talking about the haters that's not talking about the backstabbers that's not talking about that's not talking about the undercutters people that will undercut you people that will undermine you purposely that's not talking about them this is all internal internal within yourself you know once you achieve that inner peace you can take on any comers, you know. A lot of times, the voice we hear within is more harsh and louder than what any hater can say, or even can do to that matter, compared to what we can do to ourselves. We can cause ourselves to lose, and it's true. We can throw our blessings away that would be handed to us on a silver platter we can throw it away I have done it I was so stuck on stupid (laughs) I laugh at myself now but when I was going through it I was just like I could not see the forest because the trees was in the way let that soak in I could not see the forest because the trees was in the way okay but after I began for me it was like it was a biblical thing you know, I had to, I'm, I'm still not perfect. I still have these inner battles. Don't get me wrong. But I had to find something within me that I can lock on to. And for me, that was like, okay, I believe in God. Okay, yeah, I do. Okay, what does God say? Okay, he says this, 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 and this. Okay, got it. All right, how can I apply that in my life? Okay, am I going to be perfect at it? No. It's always going to be somebody that's more than willing to point out all of your flaws. <laughs> more than willing to point out everything you did wrong. <clears throat> but at the end of the day, if you're truly trying as best you can for something, you might have to give up certain things because of certain things. Like uh, we were talking about having kids the other day. If you have a child, a child will change your whole world around. So and it's a good thing. Children are a blessing. I believe that. I want kids. I don't have any kids. I want kids. I believe that children are a blessing. You know. I would love to have that 
uh, American dream with the house and the uh, white picket fence and such like that. Well, I probably won't want, want to do a white picket fence, but you know what I mean. <clears throat> Who doesn't want that American dream? You know, there are some people who may not, but I'm not one of them. And I'm looking at myself. I'm like, I'm not getting no younger. And I, I, I talk to myself this way. I'm like, I'm not getting no younger, bro. I'm not getting no younger, Isaac. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking to myself now. And this is how I talk to myself. But then I'm looking like, okay, am I getting myself together to do this? You know? And then I look at, I look at my career, my career in acting, my careers. You know, am, am I doing everything that I need to be successful? I have friends that are successful and God bless them. I love them and I'm happy for their success. Okay. But I also can't help but look at mine and my efforts. Am I really truly trying hard enough? You know? And it was like, oh, don't compare, don't compare. Bump that. The reason why I do, <clears throat> let me tell you something. Sometimes you do need to reevaluate some things. Sometimes you do need to look at some things because if you're truly and earnestly trying everything you can and you're still failing, it has to either be something you're doing wrong or you're in the wrong way. You know. Now, if you have the confidence to back that up, then you can. You may have the endurance to endure till you can. But if you don't have the financials, and that's what a lot of people seem to miss out on. They forget that there's a financial element to this whole thing. I don't have money that just grow on trees and this, that, and other, whatever, whatever, and blah, 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 and all that. No. Sometimes I have to change, I have to adapt, I have to get a, a middle job to the other job and then this job for that job so I can have enough money to pursue my career. <laughs> you know? Because I got bills that need to be paid just like everybody else. So, in my conclusion, the point of all of this is, is to let you know that you can do it. I was going to say, you can do it too, but I haven't done it yet. I'm still struggling. I'm still pressing forward. I'm still believing. I'm trying to be consistent. Consistency is one of the hardest things for me to do. Endurance, I can get beat up on all day. I can endure. Yeah, I could do that. <laughs> but my consistency sucks. But, you know, that was something that I thought about. That's something that I think about. You know, so I just want to encourage you today and let you know that you can do it. It's going to take time. It's going to take effort. It might even take some sacrifices. But at the end of the day, I still believe in you. I believe that you can do it. It's just a matter of you doing it. Because at the end of the day, it falls on you, your shoulders, your decision. You might have people that might try to say things to help you. You might have some people that might say things to hurt you. But at the end of the day, once you done tally up all the facts, all the skills, all the confidence, all of everything, it's your decision. What are you going to decide to do for yourself? And you may not always get it right. Okay, you're human. You might not always get it right. That's fine. But if you're really trying and you're really putting forth a serious effort, learn from your mistakes. Try to do better. Okay? You're responsible for you. Alright y'all, that's the JB and I show for today. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for your uh, love and support and uh, JB and I show is also a podcast. Hello, all my podcast listeners. What's up, y'all? <laughs> as well as a video. So y'all have a wonderful and blessed day. Be sure to check out myfitwatch.net. It is my online store. You can find all of my merch on there and some others affiliate items as well. Okay. 
and uh, find me on Spotify. I'm Isaac M. I'm currently working on my gospel EP, which should be done next year. Then by the end of next year, obviously, because <laughs> this year is almost over. And um, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for your support. And and yes, I, I as I said earlier, everyone have doubts sometimes, even me. Sometimes I do doubt myself. Sometimes I allow myself to be talked out of something that I know I can do. And later kicking myself because I did. But at the end of the day, it was my decision to do so. So I can't blame nobody but myself. And I don't blame anybody for my pitfalls but me. Even if someone else laid the trap. Alright. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Until next time.